Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm 17. I live in Carrick, Pittsburgh, PA. I didn't want nothing to do with school. I hated it. I thought it was pointless, a waste of my time. My friends didn't go to school. My sister dropped out when she was 17. In reality, I didn't care. I just wanted to hang out with people that weren't going to school, that were in the same position as me, failing and skipping. I had my goal plan. As soon as I turned 17, sign out of school, go get a job, think about getting a GED later down in life, and as long as I don't have to worry about school every day, I'll be fine. Uh, Courtney and her brother and her sister came to live with me when they were real little. Their mom had a problem. Uh, she had an alcohol problem and, the, and, my dad, and my son had a drug problem. My dad and her had lost custody of me, my older brother and sister. When they were on drugs and they, when they were drunk, they acted like a complete different person. When they both got into the addiction, um, that had to ruin the kids a little bit because um, they have to accept what their parents are. They, they didn't care all the time because they're, it's like they cared about their addictions more, but they didn't want to. But it's like they had to. I mean, they destroyed their own selves, but they didn't destroy the kids. They destroyed the kids in a way, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, they destroyed them by not being a whole family. They missed a big part of our lives. They missed a lot of things that parents shouldn't miss. We came through a lot. Their addictions, it don't show love. It don't show affection. God, I hate, I hate people that sell drugs. I do. I hate them with a passion because they just ruin families. They don't realize what they're doing. I knew right away there was a lot of history that, that happened before we got involved. Um, that school year she had already missed I think 56 days out of the first 72. The first day after we did the intake um, I went to school 7 o'clock in the morning she wasn't there so I called her house. Joshua called me and he says Frankie she's not in school I said I know she won't get off the couch. Josh came knocking on the door and I was just like this can't be serious right now it's 7 o'clock in the morning I haven't woke up for school that early in months cussing and swearing are you kidding me is that man out there she thought like it was going to be another program she was just gonna you know sign the papers and that was it but the next day I picked her up and took her to school and she was like are you serious you're gonna take me to school right now and I did and and from day one I, I set that standard with her at first we always argued I always yelled at him like get out of my house I don't want to go to school he stuck with her and he won her over and everything and he he kept telling her Courtney you're intelligent and you can do so much when you go to school. He always had something positive to say. He never ever gave up. I seen this girl go from, you know, not liking school to getting up every day. He made me look at school differently. She wanted to buy into that plan for her. I started going to school from 10 and then it moved up to like 9.30 and then 9. And before you knew it, Josh had me to school every day on time. You don't give up on your clients. Every client has potential and every client has a future. We worked with each other and that was the best part about it. There wasn't a day that went by that I did not communicate with her or her grandmother and say, good job for going to school. By talking to her, they find out what she likes. He made me use skills I didn't even know I had. She gained self-confidence. She gained self-esteem. There was a lot of headaches and days for Joshua and me to get her to go to school. We worked with uh, Courtney's grandmother, Frankie. We worked with her to help her get organized. We don't take a, a one-size-fits-all attitude. Every meeting, every intervention is for that client in that situation. Josh always made me feel like I meant something to somebody. I think that's what makes her feel good, because he's there. He inspired me to move forward. Work out every single option we have until this client is succeeding. You're going to help them connect to 
their community. Went through a lot of health problems, still are going through health problems. She didn't always follow through on those medical appointments, and so we helped her with that. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I feel good. At one meeting, she started speaking to a younger client about the need to go to school. She turned a whole way around, and she came up a lot in her grades, and you know, the drawing and the writing, and there's just so much she has come. At, there's a link to school. And it's through that focus and that emphasis on their strengths that everyone's going to improve. She wants an education. She sits here and tells me she wants an education. Getting a diploma is like one of the biggest goals in my life right now. She has a lot, uh, a lot of future ahead of her. I feel like I'm going to have an amazing future. When we work with a client, we strive for longevity. We don't want our services to just be a band-aid, a temporary fix on their problems. We want that to, those fixes to last long after we're done working with them.